I'm totally adding this after I made this video, but I was just thinking, you know, there's this train of thought with some keepers that believe that they should leave their animals alone. You know, set up your animal, leave it alone, don't bother it, and let it kind of come to you. Imagine what kind of child I would have if I never taught her anything. It is very important to teach your animals, and the animals are capable of learning and changing, but if you don't try to teach them, then they never will change. And this is a perfect example here. We have Aphrodite, who is totally sweet, calm, handleable, but when she was a baby, she was nasty and striking all the time, and it took quite a bit of work to kind of get her to calm down and become this sweet. But if I would have just set her up in an enclosure, let her do her own thing, and not have kind of pushed the boundaries, I would have never ended up with an animal like this. But if an animal is scared, if you don't teach it to not be scared of you, it's going to stay that way. Do you have any animals that were like Aphrodite, that were kind of scared of you or strikey, and now they're sweet and nice? Let me know in the comments below about your experience with it. And if you agree, you disagree, or your thoughts. You know, the more we share, the more we learn. Say hello to my first ever lizard, Aladdin. <laughs> He's a uh, leopard gecko that was found wandering the streets of Brampton. He was a rescue. He's what kind of started my, my little love for lizards. He's a sweetheart. He's always been that way, but sometimes you get animals, well, leopard geckos are pretty easy to care for in general, and their personalities are usually not really that scared of anything. But I just got some new lizards that aren't really as chill as Aladdin over here. So they're gonna take a little bit more work t to get them to kind of get to this level. Different animals and different species might never get as chill as this. Every different species kind of have different personalities and some are more chill creatures and some are a little bit more like ADD. They're like going crazy everywhere. So I just figured I'd show you a video how to kind of start taming your lizards and once they're Aladdin's age, if they have kind of a crazy personality and they're not calm or they're wild, it's going to be a lot more work. So the most important thing to do to tame your lizards is to start at a young age. Start from the moment they're babies. Hand feeding them. The only problem with hand feeding is that later on they might not want to eat if you don't hand feed them. To start off, offering babies food is good without hand feeding them. Get them eating and everything and then give them treats yourself kind of by hand and take some time to handle them. I'm going to take you and uh, show you what I'm talking about and hopefully that will help you to tame your lizards. So now you're seeing my uh, green keeled belly lizards or <laughs> gastroprisiana. I don't say it properly. But here we are, they're babies. These animals are known to be skittish and animals that in general are more viewing animals than holding animals. And I've heard this with lots of different animals, like green tree pythons, for instance. But the thing is that any animal, to me, could be handleable and tame if you do this from the time it's a baby. And you don't want to harass the animal, you just want to get it comfortable and used to you. So you never want to um, grab the animal and squeeze it or force it to kind of be with you. You want to kind of just have them crawl on you, play with them, handle them, touch their face, and uh, slowly build this kind of comfortability where it's like you're kind of fun, you're kind of like exercise. And yes, at first they might not really like you touching their face, but after a while they get used to it and then they can even start to like it. So it's really important to kind of slowly push your boundaries. You're not really forcing it on them, but you're gently just pushing your boundaries, getting them used to something that in general, normally maybe they wouldn't like, but teaching them to kind of have that taste for, you know, human feel. Okay, this is my friend. He comes and he takes me out of my home and I get to walk around, explore, and he gives me a nice little massage or whatever. This is all you have to do, and you can do it with just about any animal. You just have to start off when they're young, go easy on them, and don't 
don't force it. Like, don't grab them. Make sure that it's them crawling around and them kind of letting you touch them. And they might pull away a bit, they might run away a bit, but you just consistent and not too much either. Like, no more than, let's say, like 15 minutes a day. When they're babies, you don't want to be, you know, scaring them for too long, but you take them out for like 15 minutes, feed them a little bit, hold them a little bit, just push your boundaries, and uh, eventually they'll start to like you. And this is the same with lizards, with snakes, with any animal. So it's, it's so much better to start off with babies because it gives you this opportunity. When you have an adult or an older lizard that doesn't want to be handled, you're going to have a lot of a harder time than if you start off with babies. Anyways, I hope this was able to help you and maybe you learned a little bit of something. Please uh, do me a favor, help me out by liking this video. It, it helps me with uh, YouTube and all that wonderful stuff. Hope you're staying safe, having a good time, and I will see you in the next video.